That's it. See? We can be friends. Right, it is scanning day tomorrow and I am in no way ready or in any fit state to sort it out yet. Uh, we've got all the sheep, but I've mixed the ewes in with the lambs and that's a pain. Uh, so I need to put the two rams who are still in this little pen into the stable overnight, which I think should be okay. As long as he doesn't charge me. It does look a bit gloomy in there, but it's not too bad and it's only for 12 hours. All right, you're gonna be nice to me. Boy. Come on then. Back, back, Maggie. Come on then. Good boy. That's it. See? We can be friends. I can feel you're putting pressure on me. You little tyrant. Go on. Come on, out we go. Just maybe face that way and just walk. Good boy. Follow Fred. Hey, 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 hey. Enough. A enough. Enough. Oi, you little... Bar am you. Okay, that's it. Easy, hey. Bigger wheelbarrow. Anyone got any uh, suggestions for a big muck wheelbarrow? Like the two wheeled ones. That'd be good. They are expensive. I don't want to get something that's going to go brittle and fade away. Because most of them are plastic, which is okay as long as they last. Quarter to five. <laughs> Still light. Uh, summer's on the way, I hope. Because I couldn't take much more of these dark evenings. You get nothing done. It's just depressing. Oh, could the sheep be any further away? Well, that worked, didn't it? Cable there. Oh, yo, yo. Not anymore. Steady, steady, steady. Where's the dog? Wait. Enough. Well, a bucket wins against the dog again. Dog's just making things more difficult. Right, don't go up there, don't go up there. Wait. Come on, this way. Oh my goodness, we own a lot of sheep now. Come on, in here. Come on, girls. Ooh, there's a lot of you in there, aren't there? Yeah, I need to get, I need to get out still. Everyone in. Come on. Stay. Have we like gained a lot of sheep? Guess they're not lambs anymore, are they? Well, they're in. So tomorrow I'll be playing Spot the Green Dot. I might try and come up an hour early, see if I can sort through some of them, because I don't want to waste this lady's time. She's coming up, she probably expects it to be ready. But for the first time in what seems like ages, there's a really nice sunset. But there's also a pipe that's split below concrete level in the barn, which is flooding. So I need to find a stop clock and deal with that another day. But bring on the exciting stuff. Let's get scanning. Right, the day has come, it's scanning day. I think I've got everything I need. I've got about an hour to sort the whole thing out. Remember, we've got last year's lambs in with the ewes, so to make things easier, we're gonna split them off. Well, at least we know they haven't escaped. Can I ask everyone to calmly make their way to the back? Come on, girls.
tight. I'll pull it around just in case we can use it. I still need to cut it and weld in an extra bit because it's a really, really bad design. Steady. Right, I think it's going to work. The pregnant ones only just fit through it, but the opening here, the catch is broken on it. So it's permanently open that way, but I can tie it in central position until we're ready. But if I swing this across to there, we can work lambs through. They can go, if I put a hurdle across to this bar, they can jump through there and be on their merry way. That's a bit better, it makes this bigger might not help but it's far stronger if you've got a right angle in it this might work yeah tighter the better then i just need you That's to sort thought, of go against there and then i go up and under yeah. does that make sense yeah you'll we'll get in a rhythm So then you'll let them out in here then after? Well, they can go out, out yeah. afterwards. Yeah, so oh, you're happy. I'll, 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 I'll let them out into that yeah. bit. Okay, let me come in and just... Let them get you. No, 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 no. Gosh, yeah. they're big, isn't they? So you'll probably want to... Might. Let me touch her. Yeah. So you've got twins here. Yeah. You've got twins here as well. You've got one down here, and that's a spine up there. Yeah. That's you at the front, is it? Yeah. There is a new lamp here with a little black dot on her eyebrow, which the ram appears to mount her through a head, through a fence. So I don't know if it's worth just, yeah, yeah, we'll put just in case. Yeah. So. It would be pretty miraculous if it did, but it did look like he got a Jesus touching there. Yeah. Well. Right, so you've got twins again. Was it late through the fence? No, it's a uh, week after. No, I don't think she was there. Okay. No. That's good results so far. Small twins, please. Yeah. She's either very behind or she's absorbing her alarm. Okay. She could be behind actually because she wasn't touched for ages. Yeah. Um, she didn't really cut her. Yeah. A little sack there, but. Yeah. Yeah, so she might not have an issue. Okay. All right, she might be waiting. She'll be behind, definitely yeah. behind, all right? Um, Do you want to mark her or something then? Mm, yeah. Oh, colour. I'll go, um, probably unlikely to have too many chocolates, I hope, so let's go with the red. Uh, is that that one? Yeah, I do red yeah. for problems and triplets. Yeah. Isn't it? Because I keep an eye on her. She has got a little bad, you know, there's swell in there. Yeah. So I would say she may be pregnant. Okay. Or she might be absorbing. She's a good strong year, aren't she? Um, the rings you see on it, you know when their placenta comes out yeah. and it's got the lots of rings, that's what that is.
Wow, that was pretty exhausting, but at least it didn't rain. Right, debrief, this worked, that did not work. I think it might come in use at some point, sorting out ewes and lambs or weathers and ewes or whatever at some point, but the pregnant ewes are too fat for it, pretty much, and the sheep weren't used to it, so it kind of, we didn't end up splitting the lambs, we just brought them through four or five at a time did the scan the use and then just let them all through together so we've learned anyway uh this whole setup will be different next year anyway because all of this is going to get knocked out and it'll just be one big area split up with nice gates and pens we have only one that was a questionable either she was empty or she had been pregnant and then absorbed it so and she's always been a little bit odd that you but she did have a lamb last year so hopefully it's just really early and she was caught in a second cycle. Otherwise, we need to decide whether we want to put her back with the rams uh, or the ram and have a summer lamb, which is a bit of an odd one, but makes use of her this year, I guess, uh, or just leave it be. But either way, first bit, good news, not a single triplet. Uh, next thing, apart from that one empty, all of the clins had um, doubles, so they're all twins, clins and twins. And then the South Downs, I think there was four singles and six twins. So a whole load of twins, good amount of twins. Uh, the singles were mainly on first year South Downs, which is good because, you know, first timers. Uh, and therefore, I think we are at somewhere around 35 lambs, which is, what is that in percentages? Which is 1.175% scanning which I think is probably okay, bearing in mind we had a load of first timers in there. There was only two of us, so we'll have to wait till next year, or maybe if we have some in-kid um, goats later on in the year and she comes back to scan those, then we can chat through. But um, she is gonna send over some photos. She took some screenshots of the scanning, so I might be able to show those on the screen and ideally get her to annotate them so we know what we're looking at. But either way, um, that was a really good way of doing it. I know, of course, you can get trailer setups where if you've got big numbers of sheep, they just get fired through, you know, down the race, through, scan. It's very quick and very efficient if you've got large numbers, but this is quite nice. She normally deals with up to 20 ewes at a time, give or take. Um, so if we do have a few more next year, but we maybe lose the South Downs, I don't know, either way, I think we'll probably still be under her cap of um, numbers. And of course it means that she can come back and scan the goats um, when we have a next load of goats. I don't think there's any point in scanning Matilda when she gets in pig because we soon you can soon spot that. How are we? She's been taking herself over here the last 24 hours, tucking herself away, which and scraping away at the floor. So that's a sign. But we are we have every sign that something's happening and nothing's happening. Fluffy Buffy looks like they could just drop out as she's walking. Um, she's now as slack on the back as she possibly can be who knows your final little treat for this week's video is some pig rodeo the uh, four stinky boys next door need to go outside no 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 it's not yours go on no that's chicken food go on go on good girls all right it's gonna go with a smart fence, but I'm gonna go with netting. Less chance, and I can put it on the mains. Energizer. Don't trust these boys one bit. Well, at last they're out and I think they're enjoying it. Nice to be out in the sunshine again. I just spotted something which is cute and hilarious and rather frustrating. Uh, the pigs got out in the barn 
cause mayhem, knocked over a big bag of seed. It was a herbal lay seed that we we're sowing on some of the ground, especially down the bottom there. Uh, and some of it was spilt on the floor, so I asked Faith to do me a favour and gather it up into a bucket and then go out, find any bare patches of soil to spread it on. She found a bare patch of soil. It's the recently scraped off gateway ready for stone. And she's done a good job here of sowing it with lovely mixed herbal lay. Certainly for the birds, eh? Right, the sheep are all at home, back out in the field. Uh, I know they're not meant to be up on that hill field, but they're out. Um, but they're happy. The pigs are in here, they need to be bedded down, but they're outside and they're happy. Uh, I need to do a bit of tidying up now, and then I've got an awful lot of mucking out to do. I mean, the, the compost heap is looking healthy, but it's uh, not, the, not on the nicest job, and it's the one part that I can't get the tractor in. All right, it's a late night one. Uh, it is midnight, but I had to come down looking on the webcam just before I climbed into bed and realised that these pens that we've set up for the kids uh, Lily one with the dodgy feet she got in and so in another and the other one was just battering her in the side uh, which is obviously no good so I came down I've actually split her off now in here but I've just uh, I've been here 20 minutes watching her she's obviously very very close but also she just cannot lie down she'll go down last about five seconds and then that's it she's obviously in pain her feet are still playing up so um, I've just given her a bit of Metacam Hopefully that should ease it, um, just so she's a little bit more comfortable. And these lads over here just want to go back to sleep. They don't know what's going on.